With just under two months to go until the return of Power Book 2 Ghost, we are here with our death predictions for the second half of the the season. Well, that's it. It's a series finale. We've got five more episodes. It was five pretty mid episodes last time out. I mean, honestly, it may as well not even have happened. And I think when you actually say that about a season, it, that's not good. I mean, I think every TV show that's worth a damn, right? You shouldn't be able to say you could skip five episodes. Well, lo and behold, you could skip five episodes of this. But, I mean, we don't have a lot of characters to go through. Just a quick we run down. We've got, what, 11 characters because that's all we've got. That's all we've really focused on. Yeah, there'll be a bunch of, you know, extended family members that could have been included. But you know what? I'm not in the business of including jobbers like that. But numero uno, we've got the main character, Tariq St. Patrick. Um, will it come full circle? Will he end up dying? Like his father in the original show. I mean, I've seen a lot of posts today about um, the actor that plays Ghost having a bit of beef with 50 Cent. I think I'll make a fed on that at a later date. Uh, so that could potentially derail a Ghost return. I don't think Tariq's going to die. There's a lot of people saying this show would be pointless if he didn't die. I honestly think the show would be more pointless if he did die. You know, this whole show is supposed to be about him after killing his father. I feel like if he dies, it just closes every door for a potential ghost comeback. Like imagine ghosts coming back if Tyreek was dead. That would just that would be dead. So for me, I'm gonna go for Tyreek not to die. Up next, we've got his mother. We've got Tasha. Uh, barely appearing, you know, sporadic appearances here, there, and everywhere. And um, the odd couple of episodes a season. She's working some dead end job in some dead end supermarket. Superstore, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go for her to live. Up next, we get Tommy Egan. Of course, he's got his own spin-off. He's not gonna die. All right, his own spin-off comes out after these five episodes. It would be a bit mental if Tommy Egan died in this. Boy, well, still had ten more episodes to go. Right, this is where things get serious because I think this is where people can die. Braden, I'm gonna go for Braden to die. Um, he's like the only white character on this list, so he may as well die. Uh, there you go, Braden. Par end it with a with a with a black man of the partnership dying. Tommy lived, so I think Par book two ghost is going to end with a black man living and the white man dying. So we're going to go with Braden to die. Davis, I just don't see much point of killing Davis. Uh, I've heard talks of spinoffs, and I can definitely see this guy being used as a lawyer in future spinoffs because you damn know with Fifty Cent that's guaranteed. Up next we've got Noma. I'm going to go for her to die. She's like the only true villain in the show and, you know, it makes no sense for her to live. So I, I would say of everyone on this list, she is the most confident that I am of um, dying, of meeting her maker. Up next, we've got our daughter. See no reason for her to be killed off. She's not involved in the game. I know the way the last couple of episodes went, she could be getting involved, but I'd be shocked if she died. She won't die. And that pretty much leaves us on to the Tejada family. Up next, we've got Drew. So obviously four Tejadas left, right? I know the St. Patrick's, I, I put them all to live, but someone's going to have to die here. It really is that simple. Right, so up first, we've got Drew. Obviously, Drew is a homosexual. I think that bodes well for him to live. Definitely. Now, obviously, the three siblings, you get two, two boys, one girl. Um, I actually think Drew is going to live. I'm going to go for Drew to live. Up next, we've got Kane. I think Kane at the Taharas has got the most potential, and I don't think he'll die. Up next, though, we've got Diana, and I think Diana will die. Will it be in a motorway in Paris in 97, or will it be somewhere in New York in 2024? I think she will. She's carrying Tyreek's baby. I can definitely see a world where Tyreek does not get his son um, and, and Braden or something. We've already made a couple of theories with Braden maybe killing Diana. She's not going to live. You know, I, I think Drew's almost... They won't kill him. As I've just explained, Kane is too valuable and I don't think they'll kill Diana. And I think they will kill Diana at the three. Up next we've got Monet. And this is where it's interesting. I think if Diana doesn't die, they'll kill Monet. But if Diana dies, they won't kill Monet. But, you know, it's almost like, you know, like a changing of the guard. Like the old person has to die. But maybe she'll suffer a fate worse than death. Which some people would fuse prison. And I think that might be a realistic option. But anyway, that is it for Power Book 2 Ghost. Um, second half death predictions there's not really a lot more to say about rather than I mean just give us a final good five episodes man that's all I'm asking for because so far it's been nothing but man it, it was really lacklustre but I think 
when a show starts to wind down, especially in the last couple of episodes, it'll step up to task. So hopefully we'll see that. But until next time, peace.